the update of Pokemon Home recently introducing compatibility with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and Pokemon Company recently announcing that we are going to be continuing with special raid events starting on the 16th I want to continue messing around with these Hisui forms and see which ones are going to be helpful potentially in the future for new raids and today we have Hisui and Gudra we're gonna go all right I've actually got two Gudra sets for you today we've got the top one which is going to be more of our kind of support set which I think is what Gudra is going to be fantastic at the second one is going to be more of our offensive set going into more detail we got leftovers on this one because we're going to be boosting our defenses and our special defense is already so high that leftovers can actually be a massive benefit gooey is our ability so that as we take physical attacks and that's what this set is primarily built for is physical raids as we take physical attacks we are slowly lowering the speed of the opponent making the rest of our team be able to hit first and as we set up our shelters we're gonna have life do to make sure that ourselves and our teammates still stay healthy as well as chilling water to lower that attack stat of the physically offensive pokemon on the other side of the field meaning this thing just survives forever and then last but not least, we got Flash Cannon on there for a little bit of damage. We got max HP and max defense with our last EVs and our special defense. And then a positive special attack, negative attack nature. So that when we do attack with that Flash Cannon, it's doing as much damage as possible. And I went ahead and kept the Steel Terra. Steel is a fantastic defensive Terra type. Uh, it's going to boost that flash cannon if we need to help our teammates break through shields. And the same thing goes for the offensive set. It's still rocking that steel terra typing. Mostly because you really don't want to bring this thing to a dragon type raid, which is the only thing dragons hit super effectively. So we're primarily using Gudra for its steel type damage. I have the shell bell on this thing with shell armor, making sure that we don't get crit through our defense boosts. As well as we have the moves Draco Meteor, which we're not going to be clicking very often. Flash Cannon as our main damaging move. Acid Spray, which has a 100% chance of lowering the user's special defense by 2. Which means if we set up 3 Acid Sprays, it's essentially the same thing as giving Gujra plus 6 in attack. And of course we have Shelter, which boosts our defense by 2. And for our EVs, we have Max HP, Max Special Attack, our last 4 in our Special Defense. Which honestly, you kind of don't need. You could throw those last 4 in the Defense or in the Speed. It's really up to you. In fact, I think I'm going to end put mine in Defense. Now we're going to kick this off with a rock type Don Dozo raid and our specially offensive Hisuian Gudra. And then I'm gonna go to an online raid and I'm gonna show you guys how the support Gudra might work. All right, this is pretty nice. We've got an Intimidate on and off the rip. We're gonna set up ourselves a shelter so we can take as little damage as humanly possible. Wave Crash comes out and that does 20 damage. Oh, and our Believer gets Sea Sower up. That's fantastic. We're back to full. And he removes negative stats from the wild. Hadn't done anything to him yet. So now we're going to start acid spraying. We're going to lower that special defense so that we can do good damage. As well as our Arbeliva. Arbeliva should be doing really good damage after we get the setup too. Oh, the yawns. Yeah, Arbeliva's chipping pretty good there actually. But since we're actually just taking like basically no damage and we're still at the beginning of the raid, I'm not going to waste a uh, heal up. I'm just going to see when, if we might wake up. Our Believer got the turn two. Where's my turn two? We get another Intimidate up, which is also pretty great. If I can wake up, I'd love to hit him with an attack. I feel like I've been asleep for days. This raid's gonna be over by the time I wake up. There we go. We're gonna goop on him now. We're gonna goop on him now. Oh, we get a crit? We get that special defense harshly falling? Got a, got a wave crash? You're doing no chunks. He's getting there. Let's now. I want to double check. Is he at minus six now? Okay, yeah. We still have our defense boost, so I'm gonna go into flash cannons. Oh, and I could have Terra. That would have been smart. Okay, actually, with the yawn going up, I'm glad I didn't Terra. Oh, and now he nullifies our stat changes. So yeah, that's uh probably a really good thing that we didn't Terra because uh, when we Terra, we lose our resistance to the water type attacks he's spamming. So. We gotta try to wait for a good opening when we're not asleep. Oh, and there goes his negative effects. He didn't really get to capitalize on him, but that's fine. We spend more time we spend more time sleeping than we do anything else. If we could get an electric terrain setup, that'd be that would solve the problems here. Okay, so that means we can get acid spray and then maybe tear a flash cannon and just knock out the shield. 
Because with the shield down, even if we get put to sleep again, if our Reliever wakes up, we're good. Okay, we see the yawn. I still think I'm... I have, our, I have my buff in defense. I think we Terra and attempt to just break this shield. If humanly possible. He's at minus six special defense. We're going to Terra for a very strong flash cannon. And maybe, maybe take care of this shield so that our Beliva can whittle it down while we try to wake up. That'd be great. Ooh, the damage. Alright, now we see a wave crash, and we're still taking very little thanks to our defense boosts. Shields are down. We're going to sleep. But we got our Beliva with Energy Ball, who can still do a lot of damage. Or Earth Power also is an option, but that would prefer if you went for Energy Ball. I'd like to wake up naturally so I can just hit this thing. I don't want to have to use a cheer turn. It's getting a little bit closer than I thought it would. I'm not going to lie. We're kind of coming in under the wire here. Our Beliva might have this in the bag if it actually, if it goes, okay, we wake up. All right. That was a lot closer than it should have been, but it was purely due to the yawn spamming of this Don Dozo. If it wasn't for the yawn spamming, we would have had this in the bag so easy, even with all the stat resets. So it, it's purely down to the yawn spamming. And we spent so long asleep. We got like five turns, I think, twice in that battle. So luck not being on our side was a big part of why that was so bad. That doesn't mean that if you make this set that your battles will be that bad. All right, now we have ourselves a wonderful opportunity with an online raid to show you guys how the support Gudra might work out. This is a six star electric type Haxorus. Seems like a perfect opportunity to show you guys how good this is. We have a booster energy and it looks like that's about it. So I'm gonna go for shelter off the rip as we eat up an outrage we can shelter up we boost our defense it removes negative status from itself we don't have any special attackers so we don't need to worry about that i am going to however start using chilling water so that i can lower its damage output for the rest of my team as well and this chilling water is not really intended to be doing a lot of damage but we'll see how much this outrage does very little damage now thanks to our defense boost and dropping its attack stat and now we're also dropping its speed stat every time it hits us without rage this is going beautifully there's so much stat control with this pokemon it's actually insane it's at minus two attack it's got minus four speed we're at plus two defense just stole some of our terror orb charge and i believe it might have just reset its stats it definitely did and now it's resetting our stats okay perfect Again, trying to mitigate damage for the rest of my team is the priority here. It does not help that we have this uh, Zapdos right here that just keeps getting knocked out. I don't know what he's up to. I guess we'll have to do a set for him as well at some point. Chilling Water, again, not for the damage, just trying to mitigate how much damage it can do. We want to go for a Life Dew, heal up our teammates a little bit here. That boosted Play Rough is still doing very nice damage. Ooh, that is a shield down. That's incredible. I don't know. I don't know what's happening right now. It looks like all the turns are out of order. It's dragon dancing. It still has like minus three speed, I think, and it's got at least still minus one attack. I'm gonna hit it with a boosted. I'm gonna Terra for the defense because we're taking a lot of damage from Outrage just because our part dragon type. We go for the Chilling Water, still trying to mitigate damage. Now we have multiple Terras on our side of the field. And this should be Knockout right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Even with that, even with that Zapdos over there just constantly knocking itself out, we still pulled it off. That just shows to Goya how fantastic Guja is as a support. I think this is where its role is really going to shine. There you have it, my friends. Proof that Gudra just goops. Also, look at the size damage of these two lads. My personal preference is the support Gudra set. I think that's where this Pokemon really shines in Terra Raid battles. But as we saw, it is capable of handling its own. So I guess the rest is up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to leave that like for me before you go. Check out this video for me right here. I'm not sure what this one is, but YouTube thinks you'll like this one. Alternatively, our video about Ursa Luna made some sets for it the other day, and honestly, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go put more road in my rash.